Okay, to find the instructions for one of the flowers that I did not know how to put together, I knew it was on the cartridge called Mother's Day 3D Corsage. So I went into the shops uh, to shop on Cricut.com and searched up here where in the search box and typed in Mother's Day 3D Corsage. Here it is. So I clicked on that and then it showed it here and I scrolled down and under resources it says digital handbook. So I clicked on that and that takes you to um, a PDF of the instructions of how to assemble the, the items in the cartridge. So that'll work for any cartridge that you have. Um, it will show you the instructions of how to assemble the pieces. So, because I, I, uh, I had no idea how to put this flower together. So here's the instructions. Shows you the pieces that you get and, and shows you how to assemble those. So I am going to print that off. Obviously, we won't need to worry about the wristband. Then it has a picture of a completed project. So I'm going to print those out and then I'll show you how to assemble the flowers. After much trial and error, I figured out that they are supposed to look like this. Much prettier than this way, I think. Well, this would be pretty if it had a center, but there is no center. So let me show you how to do these. Okay, so the instructions show a little slit right here and putting glue on this and the arrow. So you take the largest petal, let me move this, those, oops. And so in the picture, it shows it the slit to be on this petal next to the two that have the notches. So it should be somewhere right here or right here. There it is. Okay, so I found it easier to take my craft knife and get in that slit and make it bigger. It was kind of hard to get that notch in there otherwise. So, oh, let's see. And this is just coffee dyed, like um, regular printer paper. So it, um, it, I have a much easier time doing this flower with that paper. So you put it in like this, and then I just put a little dab of glue on the back of that notch. It's probably too much. Hold it in place. And then the instructions show to put glue on here and just kind of shows an arrow. I thought maybe it was supposed to go to the all the way around and in the notch again, but that didn't quite work. So what I did was I just folded the tab back, put a little bit of glue on it, and then brought it around and just glued where it ended up naturally. And then it shows to Fold the petals back, and then this piece is done. So you can take a bone folder or something round. I was using the, the end of my craft knife. Just be careful. You don't cut yourself. So just fold it around. Of the 
petals are going out. Okay, then you take the next largest petal and it shows uh, the notch to be here again on the second petal uh, I, they are really hard for me to see maybe if I get it more in the light it shows up better there it is okay let's see if I can it in the camera. There we go. So again, just let, oh, oops, that didn't cut very straight. Okay, so take uh, this tab and put it through the slit. Put a little dab of glue. Hold it for a minute. And this one, you know, I really didn't understand this little twirly thing here. I don't know if that means to, oh, whoops. Let's see, come around. But I think again, I will just fold this over and that go as far as it will. And again, you uh, fold the petals out. Looks like the notch is here on the next biggest one. So it's one, two, three. So one, two, three. Oh, I found it right away. Okay, there's the slit. Again, I'm just gonna slice it a little bit bigger. Being careful not to slice it all the way off. And then you take this tab and put it in the slit. shows this loop and glue on here. So this one, the loop is coming from here and it says looping around. So I think it means to twirl this around and put the knot, this notch through or this tab through that notch. Which is a little challenging. So I'm going to put the glue on first. And oh, well, I'm just going to glue it right there. And again, curl the petals out. Now on to step four, and this one shows the notch right here. So there it is right here, if you can see, I can barely see, get the tip of my craft knife in there and well, Cutting it crooked. There we go. Then take this this 
tab and put it in the slit. So go put a little glue first. Curl that around. Put it in the slit. This one's hard because it's not very much room right there. So just be careful. And again, it shows like a twirly thing. So twirl this around and put the tab in the back side of the slit. Put some glue on first. Hmm. Sorry, got that off camera. This is a challenge. I think if I make the slit shouldn't be doing this close to my finger in case I slip. Well, you know, this won't show, so I'm just going to glue it on the outside. It will be covered up. Okay, now if you kind of push the ends there, it'll kind of round it back up. And then again, the instructions show you to Curl the petals outward. The littler ones get a little bit harder to work with. Okay, like I say if you pinch pinch here you can kind of round it up again. Okay so the last petal, uh, let's see, so the slit is here. So let me turn it this way and see if I can see the slit anywhere. There it is. Okay, I see it there. Make this slit a little bigger carefully so I don't cut myself. And then it shows you to put the glue on this tab and bring it around and put it in the slit. I think if I make it so the slit is. that end on kind of sticking up a little bit. I think it might be a little bit easier to put it in. So a little glue and curve it around. Let's see. Maybe if I kind of train it to curl up, it might work a little bit easier. Oh, I, think I didn't make the slit high enough. Maybe if I get that tab from this end, kind of pull it through. Maybe. Well, I'm going to call it good. Okay, and then here there's two loopies to go that way. So you're going to um, curl, roll it up twice. So one, two, and I don't, I don't see how that's going to work. So here it is at the slit. So we'll just, well, you don't see the outside of the flowers once you put it all together, so I'm not going to bother trying to put it in that little slit. I'll just glue it to the outside. And I think it will be just fine. And again, curl the petals out. This time I think I'll just use my fingers. They're so tiny. I'm going to risk tearing it with anything. I'll 
just bend them back with my fingers. And again, I'll, I'll pinch, pinch the bottom to kind of round it up. Maybe kind of adjust these petals more evenly. Move them around a little. Okay, so now you start with this smallest one and put some glue at the bottom and glue it into the next biggest one. So I find it easier. So you're going to go from the smallest gluing inside each of the next bigger ones till you're done. So I find it easiest to line them up by size so you can tell which goes when. Okay, so I'm going to put some glue on the bottom of this smallest one. I just put it all around and then put it inside and kind of look and see so that your petals are kind of um, in between each other. And I just kind of pinch the bottom to get that glue to stick. Okay, so then I'll take um, this that I just glued and put some on the outside of this one and put it inside this petal, kind of, again, putting them together to where they look nice. And glue on this. And putting it inside the next biggest one. And gluing on the bottom of this one. And inside the biggest one. Oh, let's see, let's do it like that. Okay, and then once it's done, you can try to kind of arrange these petals and fluff them out some. Okay, and then there is some leaves, which I'm glad it showed because I, when these were cut out, I wasn't sure what flower they went to. So now I know. Um, they don't really show you how to, to do the, the flowers, but I just um, glued the two tabs together. Making kind of a little cup shape. Then put glue on the leaves and glue the flower inside, pressing up, just pressing on the leaves. I think once it's in the wreath, you won't see that tab, so it should be just fine. And there's that flower. All done. Very pretty. I really like it. All right, so here are all five of these flowers done. So there's five of these off-white roses.